Gwyneth Paltrow is sharing a rare glimpse into Easter with her teenage children. On March 31st, the Oscar winner shares these photos of herself, 17-year-old son Moses, and 19-year-old daughter Apple, both who she shares with ex-husband Chris Martin, in Nashville, Tennessee. The 51-year-old captions the snaps, Easter weekend in Nashville, while including pictures of her kids as well as other moments from their adventures. Earlier this month, the Goop founder opens up to the Sunday Times about Moses heading off to college in the fall. She says, quote, In the fall, Brad Falchuk and I have boys that will be going off to university. It will be interesting to see how the morning routine changes with no kids in the house. And in regards to becoming an empty nester, she says, quote, on the one hand, incredible sadness, a deep sense of impending grief. On the other hand, this is exactly what should be happening. She continues, quote, Your kids are supposed to be, you know, young adults who can achieve and cope and make connections and be resilient. That's exactly what you want. And that means they leave the house. But becoming an empty nester may not be the only change for Gwyneth in the near future. In an October 18th interview with Bustle, she shares that she plans to sell her wellness empire Goop in a few years and then retire from the spotlight. However, she has no idea who may buy her company, saying, quote, We're not ready to sell yet. I need a few more years. Adding that she'd be happy with the idea of making a big exit for her 55th birthday in 2027. She continues, quote, I will literally disappear from public life. No one will ever see me again. While admitting that she doesn't find pleasure in her celebrity status, the 51-year-old explains that the parts of her job she does enjoy include, quote, creating, collaborating, being struck with new ideas, innovating, thinking ahead, strategy, vision, that kind of thing. Gwyneth also clarifies that she is not motivated by money. Even though Goop was valued at over $250 million in 2018, a source close to the company told the New York Times at the time, 